Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on my channel here. Now in today's video, guys, I'm going to be bringing you a glitchy blitz that you guys can run out of nickel 335. I have been kind of labbing with this for a little bit, and I have to say that I'm very impressed with this blitz, and it gets pretty much instant pressure on the quarterbacks. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys basically how to set up this blitz, and I'm going to be testing it against two different formations, gun trips and gun bunch tight end. Now, I do want to clarify that this does work against other formations. However, this does work very well and probably the best against trips and bunch tight end. And even when you're blocking seven people, you can still get amazing pressure. Now, guys, before we do get in the video, if you do want to follow me on Twitter, my link is down below. I do post when I go live, or not when I go live, but when new videos are posted, I do post down there. And then also, if you guys want to check out my Discord, the link is down there as well we actually have a pretty fair amount of people in there and i really appreciate all you guys who join and then also guys if you don't have a discord account but you would like to join my server go ahead and click the sign up link down there and then also guys if you want to check out my two most recent videos they are going to be in the top right screen right now and then also guys i do have a join button now on my youtube channel if you go ahead to the left of the subscribe button you can click that it's about five dollars a month to join but you get special access in my discord server to full written out madden guides as well as early previews to new videos so if you guys want to go ahead and join that and support me as well as get some pretty cool perks for yourself the link or not the link but the button is right next to the subscribe button but guys without further ado let's go ahead let's move into the blitz all right guys so here we go this is going to be the blitz right here now first of all we're going to be touching up on the pre-play adjustments so we're going to first touch up on coaching adjustments now auto alignment i have on base this basically it basically saves you a step in some of the defensive setups that you do and then also it basically makes sure i, I in my experience Basically, I used nickel 335 wide and it made my defense look the exact same with some slight differences And it's been really really helpful for me on defense next thing. I have ball in our defense on play ball Basically, it just helps you get more interceptions in games now Obviously, you don't want to keep it on all the time and you know if they're in a third and ten or a fourth and ten Situation or like a fourth down where they're passing the ball You just want to have it on swap ball that way They just swat it away and you don't possibly go for a pick and risk giving up like a touchdown or Or possibly a first down then moving on option defense I have a conservative this basically just does better against the option and it makes sure that the quarterback cannot run around and scramble and then zone drops my flats are in five yards and my curl flats are on 20 yards. This is how far your zones are going to drop. So all flat routes such as hard flats, cloud flats, and soft squats are going to drop 5 yards. And then curl flats, seam flats, and quarter flats are going to drop about 20 yards. So now let's go ahead. Let's get into the defense. I'm currently using the 4-6 defensive playbook, by the way. And we're going to touch up on your personnel subs. What you're going to do is you just want to make sure, first of all, your best defensive linemen are in these positions. So you see right here, I have Quinn and Williams. We have Fado Kasi, and then we have John Franklin Myers. Those are the best players in the Jets to have right there. Then moving on here, in these two positions right here, you want to make sure that you have your fastest safeties. So Ashton Davis and Bennett Jackson are both the fastest safeties on the Jets. And basically, these players are going to be rushing the quarterback, so you want them to be pretty fast. In the middle, you want to have your user. So I do have Marcus May right here, the best player on the Jets. And he does have 80, he's an 85 overall. And he's honestly, I think he's pretty big too. So he's a very good user. Then in this spot right here, this slot cornerback spot, you want to make sure that you have a very, your fastest cornerback. So Javelin Gidry has 96 speed. He's going to be rushing right off the edge. And it's going to make a big difference if you have like a 90 speed guy there, as opposed to like 95 or 96 speed, obviously. And then you just want to make sure in these two spots right here, you have your best cornerbacks. And then this is an optional adjustment. If your safeties are not good to man coverage you want to make sure that you have cornerbacks up here so in this position here i do have Corey ballantyne because i had to sub out marcus may in order to get him in the middle so i have Corey ballantyne right here but bradley mcdougall does a pretty fair job in man coverage now the play we're going to be going over is going to be dogs all go it is the a selection now you can't really see it here but it is the a selection and i'm going to be showing you guys this this blitz setup so let's go ahead now let's move into the defense all right, guys, so here we go. This is the defense right here. You're going to see that this is the stock look right here. This is not too bad of a play, but we definitely want to go and make some adjustments to it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to pinch our entire defense, which is going to be RB and down the left stick. Basically, it pinches your defensive line. It brings your defensive backs down, and that's pretty much what it does. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to shade over the top, which is going to be Y and up on the right stick. Basically, this is just going to make sure that your players do not get burnt, like your corners don't get burnt if they want to run 
the streak route. Just give you more protection in terms of streaks and fade routes. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to slant our defensive line to the right, which is going to be left on the D-pad, right on the right stick. Basically, this, is, this just helps the blitz come in. Then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to spread our linebackers, which is going to be right on the D-pad, up on the left stick. You're going to see that you might get an error where this player doesn't move because he's in a, in a defensive lineman. So you just want to kind of move him like right here should be good. And then you just want to click back on with your safety. Now, this is the setup right here. And what we're going to do, we're first going to block our running back. Then I'm going to be showing you with the tight end blocked. And then and that's basically going to be it. So you see here the, the running back's blocked. And then the tight end, we're going to throw in like a streak. So basically on this play... One receiver is not going to be manned up. You're seeing this B receiver. He's not manned up. You just want to make sure that you cover him because the other guys could be playing in man coverage. So you're not going to have to worry about it. And basically, here's the play right here. You're going to see, going to cover this B receiver. Now, unfortunately, he did get picked up right here, but you saw the pressure did come in decently quickly. And, you know, that might happen from time to time where the player does get picked up by the running back. But most times when I've tested this defense, the blitz has come in very, very quickly. Now, the reason why I don't really move my cornerback in is because if you do that, then he's going to get picked up easier. He's going to get detected. And as a result, the blitz will not come in correctly. So once again, the setup, you're going to pinch your defense, shade over the top. Slant your defensive line to the right and spread your linebackers. That's pretty much all you're going to do right here. And then you're just going to cover this B receiver right here. Any receiver that's not manned up, there will be one receiver that is not manned up. So once again, tight end, we're going to throw on a streak and we're going to block the running backs. So what we're going to do now, I kind of was late, but you see here I'm covering him. And unfortunately, once again, he did get picked up. But you saw right there that he was very close to getting towards the quarterback. And the man coverage overall held up very, very well on that play against the other receivers. Now, in terms of if you're blocking the tight end. So what we're going to do here, we're just going to block the tight end and we're going to throw the running back on like an option. Basically, here's the setup. Pinch your defense, shade over the top. You're going to slant your defensive line to the right and then spread your linebackers. And you just want to make sure too that this B receiver is going to be covered. So you see right here, the tight end is going to be uh, blocking. You see that that pressure is going to come in from the right. And he, we end up getting a sack right there. It didn't really show. I don't know why, man. It's, it's for some reason takes so long to get the quarterback down. But you're seeing right here, the pressure comes in very well. And then if we go ahead and we block both the tight end and the running back. So we're blocking seven guys right here. Just going to run this defense. You're going to see that I was able to set it up in a matter of seconds. Now, I did have to kind of kick my linebacker out a little bit right there. But basically, once again, the B receiver is going to be our coverage. You're going to see we go over there. And then, unfortunately, the pressure, I don't know why it did not come in that time. But you're seeing that the man coverage held up decently well. And then we were able to basically cover most of the guys on this play. Now, let me just run this one more time right here. Because it really kind of depends. Like, you don't want to run this every single play. Sometimes the blitz will come in. Sometimes it won't. But sometimes when I've run this, man, in practice mode, let me tell you what. I was getting pressure off of both sides of the defense. Like, I was getting some really good pressure like the, I believe it was the left side corner and the right side corner. They were both coming free right at the quarterback. So it really kind of depends on what goes on here. But we're just going to snap this ball. You see that was a late, little late, but there we go. You saw that pressure came in. Two guys ended up sacking Derek Carr and Jalen Rashard is going to run the ball. I don't know why it takes so long to get the quarterback to come down, but you're seeing right there that we were able to get that double edge pressure and then get the sack. So now, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to try this against Gun Bunch tight end, and then that will be the video. All right, guys, so here we go. This is against Gun Bunch tight end. We're running PA boot over. So once again here, pinch our defense, shade over the top, center defensive line to the right, and then spread our linebackers. And the biggest thing probably in this defense is slanting to the right, spreading your linebackers and standing over the top. That's probably the biggest thing you want to do on this play. But what we're going to do first is we're just going to block the running back and we're going to send the tight end out on a streak. And basically this B receiver is going to be our only assignment. You see that the pressure came in decently quick and we were able to go and get the sack right here. Now we're also going to run this again. It kind of really, I don't know, it's like it's kind of like an off and on thing. Sometimes it will come in really quickly and you'll be able to get a sack with no problems. Other times you're going to need to play a bit more coverage, but the man coverage should hold up pretty well right here. Next, what we're going to do, we're going to block the tight end, send the running back out in a row. So here we go, just going to run this right here. You do have to kind of wait, though, to spread your linebackers until the linebackers are set. It's just a little thing in Madden. I don't know why it happens, but you see right here, just going to send the tight end. I'm going to block the tight end, and I'm going to send the running back out on the route. We're going to send him on the streak, for example. 
So here we go. B receiver once again. That's our only assignment. You see that that guy's going to come in just blazing three, free from the right side. And unfortunately, we're not able to get the sack the first time. But the second time, we're able to bring him down. And then finally, what we're going to do is we're going to block seven in this defense. So as you can see, running back and tight end both are blocked. So... We're just going to run this right here. I mean, I'm not really a big guy with blitzes, but I came across this. I'm like, oh, I have to show this in the video. So here we go. They are both blocks. We're just going to cover this B receiver. He's on that little drag. You're going to see that that pressure comes in straight from the right side. We're able to take him down here for an easy sack. So, guys, hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, smash a like. Let's trash smash five likes. Let me know if you, this helped you guys, and I really would love to get some free feedback in the comments. Don't forget, as also, to join and subscribe to my channel as well. Really will help me out. But, guys, take care. Most importantly, stay classy.